Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Yates, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the directions for the City of Ember question of the day for chapter 19, um, for the choice of doing a drawing instead of the Minecraft build. And either choice is fine, um, though here are some specific things I want you to do for the drawing. For chapter 19, um, Lena and Dune finally get out of Ember, they get out through a tunnel, and uh, once they're out, they see a whole new world. What I'd like you to do is draw in a detailed picture showing that whole new world that Lena and Dune have stepped into. The important thing I want you to do is use details from the text to help you with your answer. So boys and girls, what we're going to do is you can use any type of piece of paper. You do want to make sure that it's something that enables you to write um, a lot of detail on. So you want a fairly large piece of paper is fine. Um, what I'm looking for with the drawing is I want you to label everything that you do in the drawing with evidence from the text to help me to know that you use the actual details in chapter 19 for the drawing. If it's not in chapter 19, I don't want you to be drawing it. I don't want you to add things into it that don't belong in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to look right here at uh, some details that I want to add. Now there's a lot more details and I want you to include as many details as you find in chapter 19. But one that I noticed is that, uh, let's see here, um, it's here on page 134 where it says flowers bloomed among the green blades. Uh, when they're talking about the green blades, they're talking about some grass. So the one thing I want to do is the first part and I might go ahead and just add in right here a little bit of the green grass. They're seeing like a hill coming out it looks like and I'm going to add some of those green green blades now when they talk about green blades they're talking about green green grasses so I'm going to add some of those here you notice I'm using colors because I want to add details that match what was described in text so I'm going to put in some green grass green blades of grass right here and remember I want your whole picture to be filled in with detail. I'm just showing you a small part so you get an idea of how you're going to be doing it. And then, um, since it says here that flowers bloomed among them, what I'm going to do is add a few flowers. It doesn't really tell you what color the flowers are, so you can go ahead and use any colors you want to. So what I might do is here I've got some yellow, so I'll make some pretty little yellow flowers. Happy little flowers. Now I've got a little bit of detail and I want you to make sure that you fill the page with details from chapter 19, but I'm just showing you a small part and this is the important thing I want you to do. I want you to take the words that you found in the text that helped you to draw it. So I've used the words flowers bloomed among the green blades to draw these details right here. So now I'm gonna take these words and I'm gonna add a sign in my picture to show me the text that you use. So I'll put a sign up right here and I'm going to go ahead and add some text. I'm going to put quotation marks because these are words that I copied directly from the text. Flowers bloomed among the green blades. I'm putting quotation marks around it because I copied those words directly from the text, directly here from page 134, and that's something else I need to do. I also want to tell what page I found this information. So I'm going to go ahead and look right here. On my reader, it says 134. Now, yours might be a different page, and that's okay. Just tell me whatever page number you're seeing here at the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and add that here. So I'm going to go ahead and put page. 134. I'm going to make it like a little sign popped here, just kind of like we do in Minecraft. We'll put signs down. There we go. So now we've got some detail, some green blades of grass, and flowers bloomed among them. And it was on page 134. 
Now that's just one small detail of the picture, boys and girls. What I'd like you to do is fill this page with details from the text. Now there are some different times that are being involved in this. There's some uh, sunrise, there's some moon time. So either one is going to be okay, but I want you to make sure that you label it with evidence from the text, whatever you add into the picture. If you have questions, make sure you email me and I'll be able to walk you through it. Before I go, I want to remind you that you are going to take this picture and you're going to show me in Flipgrid how to do that. Um, so I want you to show your picture off in Flipgrid. Make sure that as you're going through the video in Flipgrid that you're telling me the signs that you used and the pictures that match your signs. Just like this. Make sure you show me every part of your picture. I want to see that everything is matching the details from the text that you found and that you used evidence from the text in signs. I'll be looking for that in your Flipgrid video, boys and girls. All right, great. So once again, if you have questions, email me. Otherwise, have fun drawing today, boys and girls. Bye-bye.